Hi guys, this is Oshi and this is a dragon deck. <laughs> so yes, another unboxing because why not? We have new decks. I mean, I have new decks and you know, this is my way of bonding with new decks. So we're gonna see them. <coughs> so this is actually uh, a Paolo Barbi Barbieri deck and I usually don't like this type of dragon because they are usually just big, muscly, stupid things. But I kind of saw a few images and I was like, I need the Dragon Oracle. I mean, besides the field guide, because you know, I need more <laughs> dragons. And I was like, let's, let's just buy it. So it has arrived and I removed the shrink wrap from the outside and from the card, uh, because the cards were shrink wrapped as well. I don't know why. I mean, okay, I understand, but seriously, uh, a, a paper, whatever, you know, wrap would be enough, I think. So I didn't look at the cards, I just saw the back pretty much, but yeah, let's just, just see it. So this is the box, which I already opened, like I said, but it's uh, quite interesting because it's not a well-made box for once. As you can see, the cards are kind of falling apart mm, and I don't know if, you know, it's because it's so hot and the glue uh, came out or, or off or whatever but as you can see the box wasn't secure enti secured entirely I mean the paper that has all the information so I will have to re-glue the whole thing because right now it hurts the cards we have the guidebook which is Los Carabios so guess how many <laughs> languages are in there Ooh, that's the back, but let's see how long the English is. I mean, it's not bad for an oracle card. There's enough text for one, you know, for each card, so it's not that bad, I think. Even though I would like to just have the option to, I don't know, get the different languages separately or some, some even if you know they wouldn't have this type of. Um, look to them because I don't I, I could just keep the language that I'm speaking would make things easier it's not a lot of cards uh, I forgot it's where's the number 33 only 33 so yeah not a lot this is the back and obviously I'm going to edge the deck and I thought that I picked up, up the good color for it because I picked up this one which is the oh god it it has burlap in the name oh, 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 oh. it's a a team holds distress ink and with faded burlap or something like that but on the pictures that I looked up to when I ordered which obviously wasn't the right ones when I ordered them it looked more like a brownish cool toned thing so I'm not entirely sure that it's going to be a match after all though it's not necessarily bad because there are some pale uh, colors here that matches that one so we'll see because I don't really have anything that's uh, a good match for the dragons so as you can see I hope you can see those are dragons. I think it's standard rose carabio uh, shiny cardstock. <coughs> but let's see. Okay, so. Okay, I hope there's enough light because it's uh, in the middle of the afternoon and the sun is actually directly shining on my table, so that's not good, especially not with a shiny deck. So the first one is a vision com contemplating the future. So we have a keyword and some description which is always good and if you're you know if you're annoyed you can just cut off this part I mean you would stuck with these at the bottom if you don't want to remove it though I don't want to remove it just saying and this looks like a hybrid like a dragon and some grief and yeah something like that but this looks like an elf with a constellation because these are star dragons but they're definitely you know contemplating the future so that's good okay 
next one is dominance believing in yourself interesting pairing with the dominance and I kind of like this dragon to be honest even though it looks evil and menacing and beastly and all that stuff but I like the fire I mean I could do without you know the humans I don't care all the humanoid creatures okay this is a weird one transformation defining yourself but it's a good title and a good keyword I like that transformation is defining yourself with a unicorn half unicorn half something half okay it's not half because too many halves but you know what I mean <laughs> okay wisdom asking questions and uh, cards stucking together Mm, that's more like it with the dragon we're gonna check obviously one card and, and I'm done and I really like the color of this one miracle making a difference this is beautiful this pink and it's interesting that you know they are s uh, descending down to the lamp so I'm, I'm quite curious what that means we have bliss cherishing the day <laughs> and they are you know having fun playing around that's really cool I have no idea if he painted them these or he just you know painted uh, dragons star dragons so to speak and realized that hey this could be good for an oracle effort conquering your demons Ooh, I like this one that the dragon has a weapon as well even though not in his hand but but yeah it takes effort and oh that looks good as well the f how the fire is depicted in his artwork is really really cool legacy persistence I like these bearings actually really good and I'm sorry but doesn't it the wing looks like a a dolphin <laughs> a dolphin's face <laughs> with a weird uh, tongue <laughs> alien tongue the ruins of old buildings and like Greek or Roman <laughs> let's say Greek choice understanding consequences I like this I like, you know I said it multiple times already but I really like this and this is really cool with the different heads they kind of look like dinosaurs but very interesting huh oh that's 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 looking good as well transcendence achieving success hmm I mean they all, all you know kind of like a mean version of a dragon but I have the field guide which is the cute side of dragons and this is the not mean because that's a human thing to be I mean I think but you know what I mean the powerful the majestic the I don't care I'm gonna just destroy everything side invention burning with passion okay I don't know what this is I mean it's not a dragon but it's different yeah I'm desperate you you know I just need more dra <laughs> dragon decks and I can't wait till the uh, I will never know the, na the name of the occasion torn um, it has ash in it it's ash amber something dragon deck yeah it will take me forever to learn the name I don't know why but I can't wait for that deck I'm just so excited even though that deck has some uh, variation on dragons that I'm not necessarily on board but with that deck the illustration Adam Oller's style is just so good and you know the occasion torn is just such a beautiful and lovely and awesome deck that I can't wait. I cannot wait. The self gathering your power and sitting bare on a dragon. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say something that's quite disgusting because you shouldn't hear that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, five years old. Uh, challenge standing up for your rights. Oh, and standing up on, you know, something that's green, protecting it from humans, maybe. Oh, understanding, looking at both sides. This is the Aquarius card. <laughs> Though this, why is it here? It looks like a bad Photoshop, to be honest. <laughs> I like the card when it's this. This makes no sense to me here. Like, seriously, why is that even there? This, this is really cool. Tranquility, harmonious in action. I mean, it's not a real, not that of an expensive deck. I mean, it's nothing as cheap if you think about it. But it's half the price of a tarot deck, so I was like, oh, let's let's just get it because dragons. Tranquility, harmonious in action. Oh, I like that because the dragon actually looks wise. You know, it's not that look that would be like, yeah, I'm just waiting to murder someone it's more like uh, yes I'm paying attention to all my surroundings without you know looking I don't care about the humans or elves or whatever destruction releasing your anger yeah most of them are dead ah here's that Khaleesi <laughs> Another not dragon for me, grief accepting loss. But interesting idea with all the skulls. I kinda like this part. Okay, healing, restoring hope. I like the colors, but I'm not entirely sure why is it re restoring hope with the dragon. I mean the fairy, elf, fae, whatever creature is, is, is good for the healing part. Um, but I don't really see the restoring hope with the dragon. Yes, I'm picky when it comes to dragons. My name, Jagorshi, is part of dragon, so... Independence, carving your own path. Forging in fire, maybe? I mean, we have different ideas about dragons, but you know, I accept that. I like this one. I usually, you know, I just, I mostly it's about the face, where I draw the line. Returning, going with the flow. Oh, and it's autumn, kind of. Interesting. Ooh, those are some serious card tattoos. Okay, resilience, finding your limits. Oh, and there's ice. Okay, I like that. I really like the back. Because those are good looking dragons. <laughs> I don't like the nose. Rebirth, giving yourself a second chance. Oh, interesting. And being protected by the dragon. If you're annoyed by my commentary, there's always a flip through with music that you can mute and put your own one on. You know, you don't have to listen to me. I like this one. Enlightenment, moving forward. And this gives me such a nice hermit energy. I like the way she, she is dressed. And the lamp, you know. Uh, what is this even? Not a dragon for sure. Like, what? Is that a city? <laughs> Freedom breaking the chains. Well, these creatures are not going to be free from my expectations. <laughs> Trust, love and friendship. I like this one, it's cute. See, that's a dragon. All you have to do is draw these type of dragons. 
I mean, she's cute. I mean, interesting tattoo ideas, but this is a good one. Okay, so we have protection, finding what's important. I'm not saying anything because I'm I could be just mean. <laughs> Combination, completion and renewal. I mean good keywords not matching artwork. That's my problem and these are put together usually. You know, I think these are existing arts and they were not created for the artwork. They are just, you know, picked which one would fit the keywords better so because these are very generic keywords even if they are good ones they are you know generic surrender letting go of the darkness with a springish dragon so there was something with renewal right completion and renewal it could have been this one or Um, yeah, I don't know, because this has, you know, the spring renewal energy. But it's a good one. And I, what I don't like about the low scarabia decks is that it already has a slide bow. And I don't know why, you know. Like they are already, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but I think you can, that it's, it, you know, this would be the, on the way if it would be um, straight. And when I'm going to edge it, it's going to be even more so, this bow, and I don't know why, but it's annoying. And now we have uh, Roman numerals with, I didn't check. Uh, that's the main deck and these are the general decks five card five concept one is knowledge it's just five cards oh I thought that you know since they are generals I thought that you know more cards for each one but no okay okay so we have knowledge and a different style I kind of like this style as well. It's, it's matching the back. Interesting idea for a head, carrying the knowledge. We have resources. Ooh, that's cool. I like this color theme scheme that's going on here. It's a grayish, brownish color, taupe or whatever. We have inspiration. Ooh. This not, never happens to me. <laughs> Though I probably would die, so maybe it's good. We have time. Which looks like waiting, but whatever. Which is time, but okay, okay. And space is the last one. Why? Why are the multiple ends? No. It looks like a bat. And some snakes. Okay, so let's see. I want to check what this means, you know, how to use those extra cards. So, ah, okay, so they are concepts for areas for exploration and meditation. Knowledge. This refers to ability, skill, and information. Resources are reference to all material means and resources. Inspiration, ideas, and creativity are invoked by this card. Time, this reference, patience, ha, what is that? Pacing and so forth. Space, this card, oh, this card invokes travel and movement. I wasn't thinking about space like that, you know, I was just thinking about space as in the space up there, you know, outside of our world. Uh, so you can just pull one 
uh, as a focus, I guess. And there are, okay, a constellation on the normal cards, or each of them to be honest. There's a star that's connected to it, a wisdom of the herald, the wisdom of the dragon, star dragon invocation. Oh, so that should be good. Okay, let's shuffle the deck because why not? I mean, I think you can refresh shuffle it easily if you're a refresh shuffler. I am when I'm not on camera because it's quite <coughs> whatever. <laughs> okay, so we have choice, understanding consequences. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. So we have the constellation is Hydra. Hey Hydra, okay. We're already in the Marvel Universe? Where's the constellation? It's here, right? This is the constellation? No. Yeah, it should be. This is the whole thing? This is the whole... Oh, it's a big one. Okay, if I put it down, can you see? No, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, the star is Alpha, Alpha Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. Mm, we don't know which one is that, unfortunately. Wisdom of the Herald, for every action there is a reaction. Now is the time to choose wisely. Open your heart. Okay. Open your heart and your mind. Understand the consequences of every action, every choice, every mo moment in the making. Take time to get to know the reasons behind it all. Observe every, observe every angle and take good care. The consequences are dire, but the reward is great. Hmm. The wisdom of the dragon is you have the power and the right to choose what will be. Interesting. Manifest your way. Make a great choice. <laughs> yeah, easier said than done, huh? Choose each day. Choose each situation. Choose in each moment. Uh, shouldn't it be like... Choose in each day, choose in each situation, choose in each moment. Or just to, you know, one of them is not like the other. You are granted the gift of free will and choice in this life. True. Be wise, be smart, be cunning and deliberate. The choice is yours. Interesting. And the Star Dragon invocation is become more mindful in your everyday life about the choices you make and the way they, they affect and impact the path you walk and the life you lead. Recognize the ways in which your choices lead to consequences that ultimately take your, reali take your reality. Become an active co-creator of your life and circumstances, which is amazing and awesome. And we like that message because, as my description says, you are the cap captain of your pirate ship. It doesn't say it, in, you know, with so many bad words. But yeah, I like the choice card. I like how it's, you know reminds you of that uh, all, all the days every day is full of choices to be made and I want to see let's see you know like where's the space I'm not going to find the space let's find should I find do you care if you not see the card okay let's check the space card as well the constellation is Sagittarius is here is the archer the star is caus australis Eps what epsilon sagittari okay i will have to look these up and i'm not going to read all the things because it's too long but you can pause the screen and read it but i'm going to read the star dragon invocation because that's the whole um, idea of the cards, so to speak. So, uh, space. The general of space invites you, invites you on a journey through travel or psy psychic exer exertion. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't. Think about the ways in which you can move through space. Oh yeah, trust me, I do. <laughs> Enjoy and revel in this vast playground of motion and of movement. movement. Think about travel or a new experience. The world is yours. Well, not exactly right now, but space is always there. Imagination is always there. Dragons are, dragons are part of imagination anyway. So I think that's a good way of closing this uh, walkthrough. Hope this wasn't as annoying as I think it was. 
and let me know do you like this do you have other other dragon decks where you present for our first um, tarot chit chat uh, where we talked about their own t the, the dragon decks and yeah just you know leave a comment if you want to and if not then thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one bye